Are you aware that your code assistant might be leaking your secrets and you don't even notice it? Yes, I'm talking about your connection strings, your API keys, any type of sensitive information that is inside of your repo. What's happening is exactly the following. You have your keys and you are just putting them inside of a package, sending them over FedEx, but what happens to that key once it gets to the destination? You don't know it. That's exactly what is happening with our secrets if we don't do an important step. And it's about that that I will talk in this video. One of the most powerful use cases of AI is to help us to understand and diagnose an issue. So let's say that you are just looking for the reason why a given database connection is failing. So you prompt the system with a simple, tiny, innocent question. Why is the database connection failing? The problem is what happens in that moment. What will happen more often than not is that your code assistant will go through your files, even those that are not part of the context, and will try to find relevant information so then the prompt can provide a better answer. The end goal is to always provide the best possible answer to the end user. And one thing that we know is that the way that LLM works, it needs a ton of context to be useful. So let's grab all of the related information, all of the related files, and send them as context over the wire to the AI provider. It might be OpenAI, it might be Anthropic, it might be any other thing. The problem, if you haven't noticed, is that one of those files was a secret was something like a connection string. So any type of files like M files, app settings, config files, application settings, or any other type of file that can contain a secret, an API key, sensitive information, connection strings, any of those informations can be included as part of the context and sent to the AI provider. Yes, I know that that information can be encrypted and all of that and goes through a secure channel, all of those things. But what happens once the information reaches the destination? Who is capable of accessing it? Do you want to send your keys over FedEx? That's the problem. And let's not talk about the fact that sometimes the information that you send in the context can be used to train the models. And don't say that that will never happen to you because it happens to the best. Quite recently, there was an incident with XAI creators of Grok, or Twitter, and they committed to a repo a set of keys for the, the LLMs that they were using, just by accident. So maybe it's a possibility a developer add that on their own machine and eventually commit that. And the problem is that those keys stayed enabled, valid, for two months. Yes, in this case is a common problem of not ignoring using the git ignore to commit something to the repo and eventually it became available. The problem is that simply ignoring those files will not address the issue that we are talking about here. We are talking about transmitting those settings to an AI provider. So now imagine that that information has been used to train the model. One day, someone might open an app settings.development.json looking for a connection string or an API key to a given service that you use, and what comes in the suggestion maybe your valid key. So we know that git ignore is not an option. Keeping that file closed is not enough. We need something else. So what can you do? Let's start with the basics. Please never hard code your secrets. Use a secret manager, something like Azure Key Vault, AWS Secret Manager, or any other option like those. Keep your secrets out of your workspace, but one that is extremely important and is new in this context of developing with AI, in the new age of being productive with AI, is to ignore and exclude any type of file that can contain sensitive information. So those files that I mentioned, environment, app settings, config files, all of those can be ignored. The problem is that nowadays, every single code assistant is doing this in a different way. One's in a great way, that I really like, like having something that looks like the git ignore file, yes, I'm talking about cursor, or others that are, have, for example, a JSON file with uh, settings for permissions and you need to have a strange notation to deny the use of a given file. 
it could be so simple. Or even worse, we have GitHub Copilot that you need to go to the repo on GitHub to define what will be ignored or use some strange techniques to avoid those files. Yes, this needs to be simple. This needs to be easier because this is a huge problem that you have been ignoring in the past few months. What we need, my friends, is a new standard way, kind of like a git ignore, where we can list all of those files that we want to ignore from the context of the prompt and use that everywhere in a way that we put that file in your repo and you know that if your colleague is using cloud code and you are using cursor and someone else is using GitHub Copilot, they all share the same information. The same way that nowadays we have the agents.md file, I have a video on it, I will link it in the top, that is a standard that is coming to make sure that every single agent is sharing the same context, the same information everywhere. We need a common way to define an ignore file. In my opinion, we need a .ai ignore or .agents ignore, something like that. And then please make sure that every single tool is using that file. Until that happens, what can you do? The first thing to do is to audit your project. Take a look into the files that you have and find those that can contain sensitive information. Connection strings, API keys, all of those things. Go to those files and see what you can remove from there. Can you move it out of those physical files? Great. Then create a list of the tools, the code assistant tools that your team has been using. Is it cloud code? Is it cursor? Is it GitHub Copilot? What it is. For each one of those tools, find the default way to exclude those files. It will be different depending on the tool. So by the end, you will have many different ways of configuring this list of exclusions. If you need help to define it for cloud code or cursor, I have something for you. I have two videos where I explain that. They are for members only. And the final thing that you need to do is to forward this video to your team because most of developers don't think about this problem. And it's a problem, let's face it. And since AI is quite new and we are all trying to create a picture of this and see how to use it in our day-to-days, I have something new coming out. I'm launching a new cohort that will help you to create applications that are powered by AI in .NET. During seven weeks, we are going as a group through a program, learning how to use AI as a code assistant, but also how to build an application that is powered by AI. During the process, you'll learn how to take advantage of the existing APIs and how to enrich your application quite quickly and having new ideas of the things that you can take advantage of AI in the context of your applications. During the Black Week, you have 60% discount. You can find the promo code in the link below. I hope you like this video and I will see you in the next one.